for joining me here at Margaret Lalik's Kitchen. Today we are at a beautiful showroom in West Hollywood. We are at Ornare. Ornare is specialized in kitchen, bathroom and closet design and they are located throughout the United States in Dallas, Texas, Miami, New York and Los Angeles. They are also throughout the world, to name a few. They are in um, Dubai. If you're interested to remodel and um, to uh, replace your kitchen, uh, this is the place to be. So come to Ornare to do your kitchen, bathroom and closet remodeling. Today we are going to cook together. We are going to cook um, uh, on a very high-end appliances. We are going to cook on Wolf induction cooktop and Wolf um, uh, convection oven. Uh, let's get started. Let's get cooking. Our menu is we are going to make trout. We are also going to pair the trout with potatoes and um, we have arugula salad. Uh, we are going to top the arugula salad with beets and um, vinaigrette. We are going to make a lemon, uh, lemon olive oil vinaigrette. A dessert we are going to have puff pastry um, topped with uh, cinnamon, cinnamon sugar and um, apples. So we have a lot to do and let's get started. We are going to start cutting the potatoes because it takes time for potatoes to cook. So let's start with potatoes. I have washed it and dried it already. Um, maybe I need help with this. I'm going to call my nephew Alex to come and help me with this. Alex, would you help me with this? We are going to cut the potatoes. We are going to. Hello again. Absolutely. Love to help. Here is my handsome nephew, Alex. And Alex is very good at cooking and he is a very good cook. And uh, he always um, helps me and uh, we always uh, cook together and enjoy each other's company. Alex, thanks for joining me. Absolutely. I'm excited for all the exciting adventures today. Would you like to help me with this? Absolutely. Great. Okay. So we are going to cut it like this and while you're cutting that I'm going to cut the apples. So we'll start with the dessert and we'll start with the, with the potatoes. I'm going to put this somewhere in here. Now what is the benefit of boiling the potatoes first before mashing them besides like putting them in the oven or different form uh, cooking? That's, that's the recipe and um, I learned it from my mom. Wonderful. <laughs> from your grandma. That's how she, she does it. And um, this is the, uh, I think this is the Armenian way that we do it. Um, usually uh, Americans, they do the mashed potatoes with, uh, 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 with garlic butter, but we are going to do this with garlic and uh, onions. So, we're garlic and onions. And Alex, if you move that here, I can start cutting the apples too. Okay, here. Before I cut the apples, I'm going to cut the uh, butter and start with the garlic. Um, maybe I can ask my mom to cut the garlic for us because it has to be infused. Garlic and butter needs to be infused and we are going to simmer it together. Um, can you help me to cut the... Please meet my mom. This is my beautiful mom and we cook a lot together and she's going to help me with that too. So to speed up the process um, I have my helpers here. I have my mom and I have my nephew and I'm lucky to have them. I'm going to ask my mom to cut the garlic. Alex, you're done with this. Thank you so much. Of course. Let's move this to the cooktop. So, thank you Alex. You cut all the potatoes. Let's add a little bit of salt. We had salt previously. So let's get started. Do you know how to start this, Alex? Start it. Okay, let's put this on high heat. 
Yeah, this is the one. How do you come up with your recipes whenever you decide to cook for a day, pairing uh, fish or? With fish, I think uh, it pairs uh, along with potatoes. Sometimes I do rice, sometimes I, uh, sometimes I do potatoes. We haven't uh, given this recipe yet, so I think, and this is my favorite, I love it. And I learned this from my mom. And uh, mom, you're done with that? Let's finish this and then we'll go to this one. Um, so I learned it from my mom and she does it very well and it pairs very good with the potatoes. Um, therefore I came up with this one. What do you think? Wonderful. No, I you love like it. it? I, I love your style of mashed potato where it's different than the traditional and I uh, think, uh, way with yeah. cream and stuff. Instead it's more like texture is nicer. We're going to infuse it with garlic, onions. So it will, it will be very good. I'm sure you'll love it. I think you tasted it before. Can we turn this one on too, Alex? Let's put it on a low heat, on a simmer. Wonderful. Okay, and this is ready. So we are going to simmer the garlic with butter. And we are going to infuse it with butter. This is it's boiling already, already. So yeah. My mom said this is boiling. Uh, okay. 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 Should we yeah. test it and see if it's uh, ready? Let me just do the knife test. No, not ready yet. Okay, we turned it down and now we are going to to continue cooking. Um, I got this puff pastry from the Armenian market. Um, it's very inexpensive. It's two two forty nine. Um, and we are going to make eight of this. Mom, do you want to start putting those on the trays? You can come to this side. Let's switch places. The butter is melting nicely. I noticed um, different um, recipes you have. You cut them in different shapes. Is there a reason for that? Like the different flavors of garlic or infusing it versus like using the whole chunks of garlic? If you cut it in small pieces and uh, try to infuse it, that will uh, speed up the transaction actually. So we are trying to speed it up. Fascinating, wow. Thank you, Alex. I learned something new. You are asking a wow. lot of nice questions and um, yeah. Uh, should we turn it up, up a little bit? What do you think? Uh, okay, let's turn it up a little bit. Because the butter is not melted yet. Once it melts, once it melts, then uh, we will turn it back down. We will put it back on simmer. What do you think? Yeah, especially you don't want the butter to burn. Okay. So, um, mom, don't open all of those. Let's just start with those, with four of those. Or six of those. Everything's smelling wonderful. I'm excited to come back and continue when the fish comes out. But it looks wonderful. You guys enjoy making the dessert. This, so it won't puff up too much. Now we are going to sprinkle. I have mixed some sugar and cinnamon together. So uh, it's up to you how much you want to uh, put, uh, how much cinnamon you want to put in your sugar. But I put um, half a teaspoon uh, to four, four tablespoons of sugar. I put half a teaspoon. Okay, this is the sugar. We put the sugar. Now I'm going to cut the apples. Okay, to cut the apples, we are going to cut it very tiny slices. Cutting it out just like this. It's elevated a little bit, but it's okay. Uh, once it cooks, it's going to um, settle down. I'm going to show you how I'm doing it one more time, then I will do it on my own, and then we'll continue from there. This is what we do, we just fan it out. Over 
overlapping on each other. It's delicious and easy and fast, so I'm sure you'll love it. If you make it, I would love to hear from you. I want to see if you made it and if you like the recipe. That really makes me happy when I hear from my um, subscribers when they make something and send me pictures and comment about it. Um, that really makes my day. Okay. This one is done too. I'm going to cut more apples and then we'll continue. My mom is sharpening the knife, but it's okay. I'm doing it with this, so I don't know if that would help, but she's sharpening the knife. Thank you, mom. Thank you so much. Let me try it. Let's see if that would work. Okay. Let's see if this is sharper than, oh yeah, thank you. This was very nice. Thank you so much. And it's delicious too, and it's presentable. We are going to serve this with ice cream. my apples on the puff pastry and this is my version of apple puff pastry um, now I'm going to sprinkle some sh uh, sugar cinnamon sugar on top of those and put it in the oven so my oven was warming up at 350 degree and this will go into the 350 degree oven for about 30 to 45 minutes until all the apples are cooked. And I'm going to put it on a broiler just to get a little bit of a caramelization on top and to burn that sugar, which will really add to the look of it and also it will taste delicious. I hope you will. Um, try this and I hope you will send me your notes and the pictures that would encourage me to come up with great recipes and um, to share it with you. Yeah. How does it look? My mom is approving it so let's put it in the oven. Our potatoes are ready. Now we are going to drain it. Um, okay. Let me. Oh, those are not hot. Okay, we're draining the potatoes. Now we are going to make the mashed potato. This is the Armenian version and my mom is going to demonstrate us how to make it. Mom, is it hot to in this school? Zaituli zaito, we did up in karat sohe, and the potatoes. It can sohe, mom, inch men's it's yane as sohe. It can't men's kanuk sohe. So she's saying that she had uh, diced one big onion for uh, this much potato. So it's a one big onion. Onion, you cannot even taste it. It, it's, it gives a nice aroma and nice taste to it, but you cannot taste the uh, onion in it. So the, the more, the, the better. It, it gives a nice taste. 
So she's sauteing the onions right now in the olive oil. Later on, we are going to add on top of this a little bit of garlic butter that we were simmering on the cooktop. Okay. You want me to turn it down? Kiss me, kiss me. My mom is Should saying be. that the onion is going to be something. Mom, come be stuck to me. Did you love it? Silana, la, mo kiss me, kiss me, kiss me. That's not the same. Did you love it? La, mo kiss me, kiss me, kiss me. In that scenario, when it cooks fast, it's kind of hard to, <laughs> to control it. Kitchen at Garmish Bibel or Quinda. Garmish, see if the kitchen lamic or Nanka will send in cargo. I my mom is saying that uh, the onions, once it's translucent, then it's ready. We can add the mashed potatoes. While my mom is sauteing the onions, I'm mashing the potatoes. Uh, if it has a little bit of a liquid, um, I didn't drain it completely. If it has a little bit of a liquid, it's okay. So don't, uh, don't uh, drain it all the way. Just leave a little bit of a liquid so it will be easier to mash it. The mashed potatoes on top of the sauteed onion. Now she is mixing everything. Now we are going to add a little bit of that uh, garlic infused butter on top of this. Here, I'll bring it on this side so it will be easier. Just a little bit for the taste. This is almost ready, huh, Mom? What do you think? Is yeah. it ready? Yes. Yeah, I'm this mashed potato is ready. We will put it on a simmer so it will stay warm until we make the trout. So Alex is going to help us with the trout. He's going to clean it and we are going to bake the trout. It's already cleaned and gutted, but what I think is a nice touch to do before cooking it so the skin becomes more tasty because it's gonna crisp up nicely in the oven is to just remove some of the scales. So it's really simple. Just put it in like a bowl of cold water and then with just like the back of a knife, just roughly. Going it doesn't, yeah, step to this side so it doesn't have to be precise, but roughly with the back of a knife, just some of the areas where there's like a lot of scales. Just take a handful of them off and then It'll make the fish a little bit nicer when it comes out and crisps up the skin. Thanks for helping me with this, Alex. Of course. No preference. Uh -huh. Alex is going to do all this uh, cleaning work and then I will come back and season it and we'll continue. Thanks for joining us and thanks for watching our video. I want to remind you, if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can go to YouTube and subscribe to Margaret Alex Kitchen. I do release new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Today we released a new video. Yeah, it's a great tour of the Cognac Company, Armenian Brandy Company. It's called Ararat. I hope you have seen it. Uh, if you haven't, it's a very interesting video. We are touring the historical building of Ararat, um, the Brandy Factory, and we are also going to the um, brandy fact, uh, factory, not the museum, the factory itself, which is a nearby um, village in Aigevan. So it, it's very, very interesting how the brandy is made, the history, and uh, 
who started it and when it started so you'll find it very interesting so please subscribe to my channel and also watch that video the one that i just released today and write your comments i would love to hear from you so please let me know how you what you think and what do you want me to uh, do uh, what kind of programs and what kind of cooking do you want me to do um, if you have any preferences any recipes you can share it with me or if you like something if you cooked one of my recipes i would love to hear from you alex is continuing to clean the fish let's see how the fish is looking so far alex can you show us one yeah beautiful there beautiful um fresh trout the full fish uh -huh. which adds a lot of flavor and um pretty much every part is usable the skin if you make it nice and crispy at a high temperature and put some oil, it's developed beautiful and you got beautiful trout. Thank you, Alex. Thanks Absolutely. for having me. Enjoy. 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 It's uh, really interesting when um, shopping for fish to know if it's fresh or not. Um, actually, my grandmother here um, taught me, so mom, can you find us up? Mom, is it a sis in Spitz Pizza? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Tarmik. Tarmik, 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 Tarmik. My mom is saying that you have to check behind the ear and then also the eyes. So if if the ear is uh, behind the ear, if it's uh, pink, then it's fresh. If it's not pink, then it's not fresh. And also, if the eyes is um, uh, open. open and it's it's brighter, then it, it's fresh. Uh, you have to look at the eyes of the fish. So now we know how to pick the fish. Merci, ma'am. Okay, I'm going to go to the house. Alex, do you have anything to add? Do you know anything else that we need to look for? Actually, um, trout, I just want to mention, is like one of the healthiest fish you can buy. Um, it's very sustainable, so there's like abundance of trout in the sea. Um, it's a, like a freshwater fish, I think. Um, and then um, it has very like low mercury, so you don't have to worry about that. You can eat as much as you want every single day, and you'll be good. Trout is the way to go. And we all love fish, and Alex loves seafood. And uh, on his birthdays, we always cook seafood. Um, and he's an expert at that. He does a lot of research. I wouldn't say an expert. I have a lot to learn, but it's, it's a fun hobby. <laughs> well, you're an expert. And uh, he knows a lot about uh, fish, whatever he cooks, he does a lot of research and uh, he also shares his knowledge with us. We learn from Alex too. Thank you, Alex. It's my and pleasure. Thank you, Mom and Alex, for helping me with the fish. Okay, I'm cutting the head off and a little bit of the tail, it's slippery and it slipped out of my hand. Some people they like it with the head, um, I don't like anything staring at me while I'm eating it. So I'm cutting the head off, but it's a preference, you can just keep it and trim it later. I'm going to dry my fish, I'm going to pat it with a paper. So the reason we are drying it because uh, we want it to be crispy. We want to crisp out the fish. The way we season it, I'm adding a little bit of olive oil. We moved from the sink to the counter. It was a little bit uncomfortable on the other side, so 
we keep on moving so this will be easier to demonstrate and show you I uh, added more uh, oil and uh, seasoning it was not enough so I'm adding more I just want to drench it in oil and seasoning uh, what we did we I just added a little bit of olive oil not a little bit maybe um, half a cup of olive oil and seasoned it with salt red and black peppers and I'm rubbing it on top and inside of the trough. I'm going to stuff it with some parsley. I'm going to stuff it with some parsley and uh, dill. So a little bit of dill and parsley. Then we are going to cook it at a higher temperature at 450 degrees. After we cook it, I'm going to remove this uh, parsley and the dill. We'll discard it. And on the side, we are going to serve it with the garlic butter that we have been infusing since this morning. Okay, this is ready. Oh, let me put the lemon wedges too then it will be ready to go into the oven I cut the lemon wedges I'm going to put some lemon wedges on top it will add to the taste and also it will look nice trout is ready I'm going to ask my nephew again my dear Alex can you help me to put it in the oven can you open the door and I love the wedges on top once they roast up a little bit the juice like transforms it becomes this beautiful sweet very savory topping that you can just squeeze on top of your fresh fish so. our trout is in the oven and we're going to bake it for how long alex i'd say like the about 20-25 it, yeah. minutes i'd say 12-15 minutes 12-15 minutes yeah it goes pretty fast since they're pretty small pieces plus it's a pretty high temperature it's a pretty high temperature our uh, our oven was uh, warming up uh, quite a while it's a warm oven and it's at a higher temperature 450 degrees and trout is a very delicate uh, fish and it will cook very fast thank see you, you soon. see you okay, soon now we are going to make our salad I'm going to assemble it we are going to make arugula and we are going to top it with beets I have um, uh, baked uh, I have cooked the beets I have boiled it uh, it takes a long time, that's why I did it uh, in advance. So we have our cooked beets and we are going to cut it in wedges. And the arugula, I'm going to season it with uh, lemon. And this is uh, <laughs> olive oil, uh, extra virgin olive oil. So I'm going to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, about a quarter of a cup. This is freshly squeezed lemon. We always do this. And uh, our refrigerator, it's ready when I need it. So I'm adding freshly squeezed lemon juice. I'm going to add a little bit of a pepper. Black pepper is spicy, that's why I'm being very careful with it red pepper and a little bit of a salt I'm, I'm uh, going easy on salt and pepper because I don't know if everybody likes it with too much salt and pepper they can add it if they want I'm going to add this on top of the arugula and mix it and I'm going to mix arugula with this vinaigrette just to coat to make sure that we are coating it okay now I'm going to transfer this into the bigger plate into our serving plate okay we made a bed of arugula now I'm going We have the fish out of the oven, the trout is out of the oven. We are assembling our salad, arugula salad. 
I'm adding a little uh, radish on top of it. So some radish randomly and I'm going to cut the uh, beets and put it on top. Okay, my mom finished the roasting the, uh, uh, the walnuts. No, 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 it's okay like that mom. Don't cut it. Uh, my mom roasted the uh, walnuts. Thank you, mom. Now we are going to add the walnuts on top of the salad. So we are going to add the walnuts. I have made the honey balsamic vinaigrette and this is um, done previously. And I have the video, I'm going to put the link down below so you can follow the link for the recipe. I'm going to put this on the side. I don't have a saucer, but I'm going to use a glass. We'll put it in a glass and we'll put it on a side. If anybody wants to add, they can add this on top of the salad. Finished cooking our menu today. We had trout uh, for our dinner, and we are pairing trout with mashed potatoes. It's an Armenian style mashed potato. We uh, for the salad we have arugula. We topped arugula with beets, and uh, we have honey balsamic vinaigrette on the side. We also uh, uh, did a dressing for the arugula itself. We have drizzled it with lemon. Uh, olive oil and a little bit of salt and uh, pepper. So that was a lemon vinaigrette for the arugula that we uh, topped it with uh, uh, beets and we are going to have it on the side honey balsamic vinaigrette. For the dessert we have apple puff pastry and we are going to top it and serve it with uh, vanilla ice cream. That will be our pastry. I hope you enjoyed watching us. I hope you will subscribe to my channel. I have videos coming up twice a week, every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. If you like the video, please hit that like button. Our special thanks to the showroom manager, Cynthia Yoshino, for allowing, allowing us to use her showroom and to uh, cook in these high-end appliances. We cook on Wolf Induction Cooktop and Wolf oven. Uh, thank you so much and I uh, also if you're interested in Ornare showroom they are located in West Hollywood. They have showrooms throughout the United States in five different cities and um, if you're interested the information will be down below. Thank you. Thanks for joining us at Margaret Nalik's uh, kitchen. Hope to see you soon and don't forget to hit that like button. Have a wonderful day, wonderful week, and wonderful life. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.